The judicially created sale of business doctrine held that federal securities laws didn't apply to sales of 100% of a close corporation's stock, essentially acknowledging that such transactions involved the sale of a private business, not the sale of stock in the usual sense. Some federal circuits recognized the doctrine, but others didn't. The United States Supreme Court sought to resolve that circuit split in Landreth Timber Company v. Landreth. Ivan Landreth and his sons, the owners of all the stock in their family lumber business, sought to sell the company and offered their stock for sale. During the sale process, the company's sawmill was severely damaged by a fire, and potential purchasers were provided with an estimated cost for repairs. Relying on the estimate, Samuel Dennis and his business partner purchased the company's stock and formed Landreth Timber Company. When the repairs proved significantly more expensive than the estimate, Landreth Timber was forced to sell the mill and go into receivership. Landreth Timber then filed suit against Ivan and his sons, claiming that they violated the anti-fraud provisions of federal securities laws. Ivan and his sons moved for summary judgment, arguing that under the sale of business doctrine, because the transaction involved the sale of the company, the stock didn't qualify as a security, subject to federal regulations. The district court held in favor of Ivan and his sons, the Ninth Circuit affirmed, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.